friends welcome back to Pajabi Mom Cooks it's Diwali wish you all a very happy Diwali and a prosperous new year i'm going to make a thali today Punjabi thali very special have a look i have got tuwar dal and i'm making peanut tuwar dal it's something different i'm going to turn on the gas I am making this dal in a pressure cooker. I have used one bowl of tuwar dal which I nicely washed. Put it put it in quickly. And I am going to use four glasses of water and give it two whistles. One. I'm not adding any salt or anything at the moment. I'm just going to simply boil it. Okay. While the dal is being boiled, I'm going to make the next sabji that is uh, sweet. Yeah. And I'm just going to add, put. I've taken one bowl of sweet, and I'm putting one cup of water. One spoon of salt, and a little bit of one tiny spoon, the same amount of haldi, and then just put the lid on. You need only one whistle again. I'm going to check my dal now. It's come to a little boil. At this point, I'm going to add a little bit of salt, turmeric powder. Peanuts and curry powder. And remember, now it has to. Be, you have to give it two whistles. I'm going to do bundi raita. Here you go. I'm going to remove the bundi. Can you see? Can you see this bundi is very very soft, and how I did this is I put one glass of water, and I made it. This is how the bundi looks. You get it in any uh, Indian shop. All the extra water has come out. At this point, I'm just going to add the bundi in my yogurt. Put one spoon of uh, half spoon of salt, not one spoon, half spoon of salt, very tiny spoon. Little bit of black pepper, little bit of chaat masala, and little bit of bhuna jeera. Here you go. That's how it looks. And we're going to go to the next step. Do the tandoori gobi now. For that, I have taken. Uh, onions, tomatoes, uh, potato, uh, yellow uh, peppers, cauliflower, and I'm going to show you how to do the marination for that. I've taken some yogurt. Can you see? I've taken about uh, five uh, five big spoons of yogurt. I'm going to put it in. I'm going to add in all the masalas. This is ginger and garlic. Let me add in that. This is uh, red color, uh, red, sorry, red chili. Uh, some dhania powder, some salt, chaat masala, black pepper, some green chilies, and coriander leaves. I want to put everything in. And then I'm going to squeeze in the lemon. You can add in amchur as well, but.
but I didn't have it in my house so I didn't put it you can add it if you want so I didn't have amchur so instead of that I am putting lemon I have taken one big lemon and uh, instead of uh, like you can put paneer cottage cheese uh, or any uh, veg veggies you like to make this now I am going to add in 2 spoons of oil 1 2 and I am going to mix everything together have a look look at that marination wow all these veggies which I have taken inside and then just mix it nicely it has to be coated really nicely and then we are going to put it in the oven it's Diwali where all the lights are lit up and everyone is happy and I wish everyone is prosperous and everyone enjoys the spirit of cooking. It's all about inspiring other people to cook. Look at that. Wow. And then after it's coated nicely, I'm going to put it in my oven tray. Friends, let's have a look at the dal. Here you go friends. Can you see? Look at this dal. How nicely it's been cooked. And now we are going to make a tempering. I want to put some oil. One. Two. And three. Three spoons of oil. In goes the mustard seeds. Some curry leaves. There is curry patta. I'm just crushing them. So that if the children don't like it, they won't come to me. Then I've got green chilies, two green chilies, some ginger and some coriander. I want to add in something. Wow, the smell is going to be I want to add in two big spoons of tomato. I'm going to 
on the other gas and then just turn off this gas and put my tempering in and then add in some water and then just mix it I need a little bit more water. Roughly, I have used one big glass of water. This dal, even if it is a bit thin, it tastes very nice. But this is uh, the right consistency for me. Have a look. This is perfect for me. I have preheated the oven at 160 degrees for 10 minutes and now I am going to put my lovely veggies in the oven for 15 minutes uh, roughly and if it, is, if it takes more time I will let you know. Uh, some people like it very tender, some people like it uh, uh, like less cooked. It depends on your preference. Let's wait and watch. Have a look! Wow! Let's mix it and then keep it for another 5 minutes and it's ready. Wow! Very nice. Let's open and have a look. Wow, our tandoori gobi is ready. And I can close the oven now. And let the gobi be in till I make everything. First, have a look. At this point, we add the masala in. And I'm going to tell you, we have got kitchen king masala, some salt, some chaat masala and some dhaniya powder. You can, uh, the kitchen masala I have uh, put to uh, one, you can say one tablespoon. And now I am going to add in my tomatoes. I have used about one, two big tomatoes. I didn't want my masala to burn, so I didn't put the jeera in. You can, uh, so at this point you can add it. I put a small uh, teaspoon of jeera, bunawa jeera, and then just mix it. Look at that, so tasty and yummy. Have a look at this consistency. And I'm going to put my shalgam inside now. And then just mix it nicely and then just cover it. And then keep checking on it. Keep stirring it again and then mash it. Friends, at this point, I'm going to put some peas in. You just have to put a handful of them. There you go. Ta-da! And one more. Ta-da! That's it. And then just mix it and cover it. Once you make it, you'll make this again and again. 
while the vegetable is being cooked, I am going to make the rice now. So I am going to turn off the gas and I am going to pour one spoon of oil and let the pan become hot. While I do that, I will just explain to you. I have taken two cups of rice. I nicely washed it. I am making jeera rice. So I am going to take some jeera. I'm going to take one tiny spoon of jeera that is cumin seeds let it splutter we have to wait because the pan was not hot enough i can just check on my vegetable dough this looks delicious have a look wow My jeera is spluttering. Can you see? At this point, I'm going to add in the rice. And I'm going to put three cups of water. Normally people put 4 uh, cups of water but I like I make it with 3 cups and I am going to put 1 spoon of tiny spoon of salt and I am going to cover it nice here let's wait and watch have a look guys the jeera rice is made. I'm just going to put a turn off the gas and just leave it aside. Friends, let's plate it now. Here we go. I put some water, some salad, some mix achar, some bundi raita. and some rice Happy Diwali everyone. Hope you're going to try it. Thank you for watching. Thank you.